In a bizarre turn of events, Kim Kardashian, of all people, now serves as the moral compass for Hollywood. At least she says she is rethinking her relationship with the fashion brand Balenciaga. You know Balenciaga, the brand with an odd connection to pedophilia. Just a quick reminder of their issues in the past week. First came the rather odd and questionable ad of a child and a bear dressed in bondage gear. The bear there, was teddy bear, was in bondage gear. What this has to do with the purses they're trying to sell, who knows? Then came the ad with a purse and printouts of the Supreme Court case littered around. When you looked at the Supreme Court case, you realize it's the printout of a child porn case. Now things are getting kind of, well, creepy. Next came the revelation that one of the ads featured a book including paintings of castrated toddlers. The author uh, of that book paints castrated toddlers. Lovely, again, unclear what it has to do with purses. Now we are at three issues involving exploitation of children and purses in one week. Then comes this from the Daily Mail. The other similarities between Balenciaga's designs and the controversial Belgian artist whose book was prominently placed in the background of a photo shoot are alarming in the words of the Daily Mail. Now, just gets creepy. This isn't a coincidence or an accident. As we pointed out, there are executives, ad directors, art directors, photographers, models, all sorts of people that are involved in these photo shoots. Four connections to real weirdness involving kids is not an accident. Normal people do not do this. Balenciaga, of course, apologized, never explained how this happened or who's responsible. We haven't seen the emails about it. They're now suing the ad agency. Again, no explanation of how or who thought this was a good idea. Who said print out a child porn case or get me this very weird book behind the model? Back to Kim Kardashian. She said she's now reevaluating her relationship with the brand, although she has yet to say she's going to end it. Then there's Nicole Kidman. She stars in one of the ads of the campaign, silent. Bella Hadid, also part of the ad campaign, silent. Gigi Hadid, silent, save deleting uh, posts. They join with Ariana Grande, celebrities who support BLM and wear Balenciaga. Balenciaga appears to possess, well, a bizarre power over these women. At this point, it would be very easy to say, if an ad connected to pedophilia isn't enough to get you canceled in Hollywood, nothing is. But there's a problem with that logic. There are a lot of things that get you canceled in Hollywood, but somehow an ad campaign connected to pedophilia isn't automatic. Think about that. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.